Blacking Tour 2018. So here's Chris with his FLX trail. This is Barry, one of the sponsors. We've got heel heels, so we got the FLX trail. And we're going to go last because we have an e bike. There's the guy with the Viking helmet. to a 30 mile bike ride. All right, so we started the biking tour of 2018, Pablo Washington, probably butchering the name here. We started at, uh, I'm at one or 0.7 miles. Started at uh, Dometer at 1392. And in front of me is Chris on the right side with his FLX trail. And Barry's on the left uh, with his also FLX trail. And he's one of the sponsors. And this is a 30 mile bike ride that we're going. We started behind the pack, but we we're actually catching up with them. So I think we're the only three that has e-bikes. I'm going to put the PSA on the bottom right when I'm on. I'm going to think I'm going to do PSA 1. Yeah, it's actually pretty cold. Um, I'm wearing the jacket, but I'm wearing shorts. But not as cold as I thought it would be. catching up to all these riders here. Well, I'm not using my GPS, I'm just following the bikers here. They have like lines going. the road would turn to and such. And there's a couple of people here with uh, Viking helmets. It's a beautiful, gorgeous view. I can only imagine what the STP, the Seattle to Portland, 2004 miles would be. 100 miles a day to Centralia, Washington, and the remaining 104 miles to Portland, Oregon. Usually it starts in the, the third week of July, going to Saturday to a Sunday. I wasn't going to do it this year because I hurt my back or I fell at work. I decided to skip it this year and try to go for 2019. You know, it wasn't supposed to rain at all this week. It rained yesterday. Oh, are you passing? Okay. <laughs> I guess we're, we're passing. I'm like...
miles. Right, I'm still on the PSA 1 full bars, 1398, 16.3 miles. We're not even at the halfway point yet. wet. Oof. So I noticed the riding styles between Chris who is in front of me and Barry who is about uh, two bikes ahead. Going up the previous hill uh, Chris was in the right gear. He was, he was in the uh, third or fourth gear, but Barry, on the other hand, was still in uh, ninth gear. Now, how did I know that? I was just looking at the sprockets on the back end. So, yeah, kind of wondering what's up, what's up with that. Now, me and Chris has 13 amp batteries now. Barry has a 17 amp battery, so he could probably burn more juice on his bike going up the hill. And I noticed also a difference between e bikes and cyclists. E bikes has great efficiency going up the hill using, you know, the motor. But the cyclist and non e bikes goes way faster going downhill. I'm not trying to push the, you know, trying to pass these guys or anything. I'm just enjoying this bike ride that I, I'm on. Oops, take a left here. <laughs> 